Whites only spaces are making a roaring comeback in the United States of America. However, this comeback is not occurring in the former Jim Crow South. It's happening on some of America's most prestigious universities. What's up guys, Sean here, partnering with Top10RacistUniversities.org, and today we're going to talk about this voluntary whites-only program that's occurring at Brandeis University. Now as you can imagine, this six-week anti-racist training program is led by Brandeis' Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, which achieves the objectives of diversity, equity, and inclusion by segregating whites only into spaces. Now when Brandeis officials were questioned about the wisdom of segregating people based on race, in order to fight against racism, they responded a stunning way. They actually claimed that it was a matter of safety to not allow black students and white students to talk to each other about race until after white people had been shamed sufficiently for their innate racism. According to a clinical psychologist who serves as a racial justice educator at Brandeis, it is essential that white students participate in the sensitivity training so that they do not cause harm. She added, it does not have to be a kumbaya, but white folks in particular have to have done enough work to safely exist in shared spaces with non-whites. Now the segregated whites only course actually has two different levels. The first is white students discussing anti-racism, and the second is from ally to accomplice, taking action in your anti-racist community. In level one, students will define systemic racism, learn about black history and the roots of mass incarceration, slavery and economic injustice, as well as the link between capitalism and racism. And in level two, students will have to create a defined plan on how they're going to fight against systemic racism. So level one is the propaganda, level two is the activism portion of this training. And because there's a whites only segregated space on campus, of course, this is going to lead to the development of a BIPOC segregated space on campus. Now, while the white space will be focused on education, the BIPOC space will be focused on healing because there's already a shared understanding. We don't need to teach them about systemic racism because they live it. And it's for the return of segregated spaces in education as well as completely different standards based solely on somebody's race or ethnic origin that Brandeis makes our list of the top 10 racist universities. If you want to learn more about the Brandeis case, please visit our website top10racistuniversities.org. There you can read up more about not only this case, but the other cases that we're covering in this series, and you can join the fight back against these racist institutions. This has been Sean Fitzgerald for the David Horowitz Freedom Center. Till next time.